Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel, Maths with Parendra. Those who are watching first time our channel, please do subscribe and share support to our channel and go through the previous videos of integration CBSE 12th class. We are in exercise 7.5. The problems which are related to integration by partial fractions. Integration by partial fractions. So first of all, what is the meaning of partial fractions? It is a small information to integrate the following type of questions, the functions. The functions f of x and g of x are two functions or polynomials, rational functions. f of x divided by g of x where g of x is not equal to 0. This is called a rational fraction or rational function. Rational fraction. This rational fraction can be divided into two types improper and proper improper and proper when we say that the fraction is called improper fraction when we say that proper fraction if the degree of numerator is greater than or equal to degree of denominator then only the fraction is called improper fraction. Here absolutely reverse. Degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator. For example, here x cube divided by x minus a into x minus b into x minus c or x by, sorry, x squared by x minus 1 into x minus 2. The second example, first example. Or uh, third example, we can write like this also. x cube divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2. See, first two examples, degree of numerator, see 3. Degree of denominator x into x into x, x cube only now. So both are cubic equations. So these two, even x square, x minus 1 into x minus 2. So x square here, x square. Both the degree of numerator equal to degree of denominator. We have come to third example, x cube by x plus 1 into x plus 2. Here x power is 3. That means numerator degree is 3. Denominator degree is x into x, x square. So 3 is greater than 2. So therefore, these three are improper fractions. Come to the proper fraction. Example for proper fraction. X by x plus 1 into x plus 2. This is proper fraction. Numerator x, numerator degree is 1. Denominator degree is x into x, x square. So 1 is less than 2. 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 into 5x plus 2. This is also. Third example. x square by x minus 1 into x square plus 1. So numerator degree is 2. Denominator degree x square into x. So 2 is less than 3. These are called improper and proper fractions. After that, how to integrate these type of improper fractions and proper fractions? I will give that some procedure regarding this. If the integral is in this form, how to calculate? If the integral is in this form, how to resolve into the partial fractions and then integrate? See here. The function, the first type, f of x divided by g of x contains two linear factors. 
x minus a into x minus b to evaluate this type of integral suppose integral of this function like this it will be there how to evaluate this type of integrals you remove that first integration dx with respect to x so it is proper fraction f of x degree should be less than degree of g of x denominator so two linear factors are there no so the procedure of partial fractions two linear factors are there we can write capital a divided by first linear factor either this one or this one you can take your wish x minus a plus another constant b divided by x minus b where a comma b are constants where a comma b are constant how to get these values by taking lcm cancel the denominators and then comparing x coefficients y co x square coefficient x cube coefficients comparing like coefficients on both sides and solve equations in terms of a comma b it will come the values of a comma b this is the first one suppose if the given fraction in terms of three linear factors suppose f of x divided by x minus a into x minus b into x minus c how to do that so three factors are there among the three no one is repeating so first factor a by x minus a plus b by x minus b plus c by x minus c this is the way we can write it now come to third one f of x divided by in these two cases suppose 4 are there we can write 4 a by b by c by d by and so on n terms are there a by plus b by plus c by and so on n by the values but in the third case among the linear factors one of the factor is repeating like this x minus a whole square into x minus b so among the x minus a whole square and x minus b x minus a is repeating x minus a whole square means x minus a into x minus a it is repeating whenever the factor is repeating we can write like this in partial fractions capital a by x minus a plus capital b by whatever the factor is repeated again you can write it x minus a whole square plus rest of the fraction uh, linear factor by c by x minus b i hope you understand that suppose x minus a whole cube is there x minus a whole cube is there what we have to do that also i will give an example f of x all are proper fractions only all are proper fractions so proper i already explained that what is proper fraction what is improper fraction yes students f of x by x ma x plus a whole square whole cube you take x minus b whole square suppose two times total repeated factors two three are there that time what we do a by x plus a whole cube no so three times you write it a b c x by x plus a a by x plus a b by x plus a whole square plus c by x plus a whole cube next two terms are repeating of these two factors also c b by x minus b plus a capital e by x minus b whole square this is the way you can write it i hope you understand that this uh, this is the procedure to first you have to apply this method by this is called a procedure of uh, finding the partial fractions after getting up this partial fractions taking integration on both sides each and every term you have to integrate the respective terms you can integrate you will get the answers okay we will move on to the another category types here 4 are completed no? remaining 5 to 6 or 7 are completed Yeah. Next one, f of x by, this is also proper fraction only, but if it is 
quadratic factor irreducible is there suppose x square plus a square into x plus b or x minus b is there one is linear factor another one is quadratic factor which is irreducible we cannot reduce into the factors so whenever we are not able to reduce into factors this is quadratic factor that is equal to quadratic factor means numerator previously linear factor means in the numerator we are writing constant whenever it is quadratic factor irreducible irreducible conditions whenever it is irreducible numerator you can write a linear factor by irreducible factor so linear what i am writing is capital ax plus b by irreducible factor what it is x square plus a square plus the rest of the term is what linear factor so constant c by x plus b i hope you understand that sixth one f of x these two also proper fractions only ma proper fractions conditions proper fractions conditions only f of x by x square plus b square x minus b whole square is there quadratic factor and repeated factor of linear which is equal to capital a x plus b we can write like not only like this i will give another procedure also for this by a x plus b by first quadratic irreducible factor x square plus b square plus c by first time we are writing factor x minus b second time repeating now capital b by x minus b whole square otherwise we can write like this also or first repeated factor will you take capital a by x minus b x minus b is repeating capital b by x minus b whole square and quadratic irreducible is there so we can write like this cx plus b by x square plus db square i hope understand either this one or this one you can get it answers now this also even this is also we can write as first you take linear factor capital a by x plus b the rest of the factor is irreducible quadratic factor so we can write as bx plus c by x square plus a square understand suppose quadratic factor is irreducible repeated quadratic factor is there what you have to do f of x by x square plus b square whole square into x minus a is there this is quadratic factor repeated so that time capital ax plus b divided by x square plus b square one more time we are writing no cx plus d divided by x square plus a square whole sorry x square plus b square whole square plus repeated factor capital e by x minus a i think most of the questions not able they won't ask this type but you have to know about this type of questions yeah you got the clarity on this no? now i will move to the improper fraction type questions how they will ask the questions improper type the time what you have to do that improper fraction improper fraction is 2 3 I will give it like seven now. Till here, proper. Yeah. Next one, improper fractions. Improper fraction means numerator degree is equal to denominator degree or numerator degree is greater than denominator degree. Here x square x uh, numerator degree is two. X into x x square. So denominator degree is also two. So in this case, in this case, what we have to do is. whenever improper fraction both degrees are same numerator and denominator what is the coefficient of x square in this one that you have write it here x into x x square whose coefficient is what one by one one by one 
first this term you are writing plus you leave this numerator value denominator two linear factors are there now we know that how to write that linear factors are there capital a by x minus a plus capital b by x minus b this is the way you can do that partial fractions whenever it is improper fraction equal degree case if not equal degree, what we have to do, sir? For example, x power 4 by x minus 1 into x minus 2. Simple example. I am taking here based on examples only. Otherwise, you cannot uh, explain easily, dear students. x power 4, numerator degree is 4. Denominator degree x into x is what? x square. So, obviously, numerator degree is greater than denominator degree. So this time what we have to do is x power 4 by by actual multiplication x square minus 3x minus x is minus 3x minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 2. So by actual division, so division I am doing here x power 4 divisible by x square minus 3x plus 2. So how many times is going to divide x square times? So x square, x square into x square, x power 4 x square into minus 3x, minus 3x cube, x square into 2x, 2x square. So while subtracting sign change here, these two will be cancelled, 3x cube, minus 2x square. So 3x cube, how many times is going to, plus 3x times, plus 3x, 3x into x square, 3x cube, 3x into minus 3x, minus 9x square, 3x into 2, 6x. So again while subtracting sign change, these two will be cancelled. 9x square minus 2x square is 7x square minus 6x. Again how many times is going to plus 7 times? 7 into x square, 7x square. 7 into minus 3x minus 21x. 7 to the 14. So minus plus minus, these two will be cancelled. You have 15x minus 14. We can stop it here. We cannot move. Why? Because degree of this reminder is greater than divisor. So, we can express this x power 4 by x square minus 3x plus 2 can be expressed as first this one dividend x square plus 3x plus 7 plus the reminder 15x minus 14 divided by this value x square minus 3x plus 2 you understand now? This is divide, this is the divisor, this is the dividend. So this is the quotient, this is the reminder. So we can write it as x square plus 3x plus 7 plus this can be written as 15x minus 14 by again this can be written as x minus 1 into x minus 2 on you. From this consider, consider 15x minus 14 by x minus 1 into x minus 2, it is proper fraction, we can apply a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2. Get the values of a comma b and substitute in this, we will get the partial fractions and then integrate, we are students. This is the information in integration by partial fractions. I hope you people understand that. Still any doubts are there, go to, in my playlist, in in integration related to partial fractions questions are there in board of intermediate uh, in my list it is there number of videos are available even not only the cbsc intermediate but also j events and questions hope you enjoyed that we'll start the questions we'll move we'll start that exercise 7a uh, till 9 to 10 questions i will explain the rest of the questions in another video why because uh, full lengthy video it will be so that is the reason I decided to make that. Start the session now. Let us have a discussion. The first question. In exercise 7.5 in integral CBSC 12th class. See here as per the procedure of partial fractions. So the question is based on partial fractions. First, the given function you have to write by using partial fractions.
x by x plus 1 into x plus 2. One minute, dear students. Yeah, x plus 1 into x plus 2. By using partial fractions, it is a proper fraction. So, both are linear factors. It is in the form of P of x divided by x plus a into x plus b or x minus a into x minus b. Both factors are linear factors. So, we can express by using partial fractions capital A constant divided by first linear factor that is x plus 1 plus for the second factor capital B constant divided by x plus 2. See by using partial fractions by using partial fractions After that, x divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 can be written as here LCM is x plus 1 into x plus 2. So x plus 1, x plus 1 get cancelled. A into x plus 2 plus B into x plus 1. So both sides the denominators we are going to get cancelled. Now the terms x is equal to capital A into x plus 2 plus capital B into x plus 1. After that x is equal to A into x actual multiplication A into 2, 2A plus x into B, Bx plus b into 1 b. From these two x take common x is equal to x into a plus b plus 2a plus b. Now comparing on both sides like coefficients. Comparing comparing x coefficients on both sides. x coefficients on both sides. So here x coefficient is how much? 1. 1 is equal to here x coefficient is a plus b. Put that equation number 1. Comparing constant terms on both sides. Comparing constant terms on both sides. What is constant here? No constant is available here. So put 0 is equal to constant terms 2a plus b. Now solving equation 1 and 2, solving, solving 1 and 2, so a plus b is equal to 1, 2a plus b equal to 0. So while subtracting some changes, Minus, 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 these two will be cancelled. A minus 2A is minus A. 1 minus 0 is 1. So A is equal to minus 1. A is equal to minus 1. Substitute in either equation 1 or equation 2. So A is equal to minus 1. Substitute in equation 1. So therefore, 1 is equal to minus 1 plus b, that minus 1 we can take this side, 1 plus 1 is equal to b. Therefore, b is equal to 2. So, after adding the values of a and b, substitute in the first step. Therefore, x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to a, a value is minus 1 divided by x plus 1 plus b value is 2 divided by x plus 2. After writing up this step, taking integration on both sides with respect to x or applying integration, taking integration on both sides with respect to x. Why right? because x in terms of x is there now. So integral x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 into dx is equal to minus 1 constant we can take out 1 by x plus 1 
into dx plus 2 into integral 1 by x plus 2 into dx. So this can be written as minus integral 1 by x log 1 x. So log x plus 1 plus 2 into integral 1 by x plus 2 log x plus 2. plus c we can write otherwise log c also we can write it so this also can be written as integral x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 dx is equal to minus log x that means log x plus 1 2 log x plus 2 can be written as log x plus 2 whole square plus c log a minus log b log a by b so log x plus 2 whole square divided by x plus 1 plus c this is the way you can give that answer dear students we will move on to the next question the next question question number 2 Integral 1 by x square minus 9 into dx. So first by using positive fractions the given function 1 by x square minus 9 can be written as 1 by x minus 3 into x plus 3. So here also two factors are there it is proper fraction. So we can express by using positive fractions as capital A by x minus 3 plus capital D by x plus 3. So, 1 by x minus 3 into x plus 3 can be written as, by taking LCM here, x minus 3 into x plus 3. So, a into x plus 3 plus b into x plus x minus 3. Both sides, these two will be cancelled. 1 is equal to capital A into x plus 3 plus capital B into x minus 3. So, 1 is equal to A into x plus 3 into A plus B into x minus 3 into B. So, from these two x k common, A into A plus B into x plus 3A minus 3B. Comparing like coefficients on both sides. First comparing x coefficients on both sides. So here x coefficient is what? This side LX is side 0. 0 is equal to A plus B. Put that equation number 1. Comparing constant terms on both sides. Comparing constant terms on both sides. So, 1 is equal to 3a minus 3b equation number 2. Now, solving 1 and 2, solving 1 and 2, so a plus b is equal to 0, 1 equal to 3a minus 3b. So after that what we have to do, we have to solve these two equations. I want to eliminate any one of the values of either A or B. So first equation multiplying by 3, it will become 3A plus 3B equal to 0 into 3 is 0. So now I am adding both the equations. Plus 3B minus 3B get cancelled. 3A plus 3A is 6A is equal to 1. A is equal to 1 by 6. Since A plus B is equal to 0, B is equal to minus 7, you know. Since a plus b is equal to 0, that implies that b is equal to minus a. Therefore, b is equal to minus 1 by 6. After that, a and b values are there now. Substitute in this integral, sorry, 1 by x square minus 9 can be written as 1 by x minus 3 into x plus 3, that is equal to a, A value is 1 by 6. 
1 by 6 by x minus 1, x minus 3, plus minus 1 by 6 by x plus 3. So, taking integration on both sides, integral 1 by x square minus 9 into dx equal to 1 and write for this. 1 by 6 take common from these two. 1 by x minus 3 dx minus 1 by 6 I am taking common completely. Uh, integral 1 by x plus 3 into dx. So, which is equal to 1 by 6 into integral 1 by x minus 3 log mod x minus 3. Minus integral 1 by x plus 3 log mod x plus 3 plus c log a minus log b log a by b. So, 1 by 6 log mod x minus 3 by x plus 3 plus c. See here particularly this exercise 7.5 is related to by using partial fractions integrals. Otherwise the question, question number 2, we can apply by using the formula itself. Integral 1 by x square minus 9 into dx that is equal to integral 1 by x square minus 9 can be written as 3 square. It is in the form of integral 1 by x square minus a square dx only you know, which is equal to 1 by 2a into log mod x minus a by x plus a. So by using this formula 1 by 2 into a 3 6 log mod x minus a by x plus a x minus 3 by x plus 3 plus c. Both answers are same. But particularly they mentioned that by using partial fractions this exercise 7.5 questions. That is the reason we approach like this. Otherwise we will follow this method, this formula. If they did not mention by using partial fractions, we can go for it like this. I hope you understand your students. We will move on to the next question. Yeah, question number 3. Integral 3x minus 1 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. In question number 1 and question number 2, comparing method, that means comparing x coefficients, comparing x square coefficients, comparing constant terms like this we discussed now. Here also, different way we will go that. But this method will be applicable for Whenever all linear factors are there, then only it will be applicable. See, by using partial fractions, the given proper fraction can be expressed as 3x minus 1 is equal to 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 can be written as capital A by first factor x minus 1 plus capital B by second factor x minus 2 plus capital C by x minus 3. After that, take LCM 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. So, capital A into x minus 2 into x minus 3. So, x minus 1, x minus 1 get cancelled. A into the rest of the terms. Plus, capital B into x minus 2 get cancelled. The rest of the terms, x minus 1 into x minus 3. Plus, C into x minus 3, x minus 3 get cancelled. x minus 1 into x minus 2. So, both sides, the denominator is going to get cancelled. So, you will get 3x minus 1 is equal to capital A into x minus 2 into x minus 3 plus capital B into x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus capital C into x minus 1 into x minus 2. You put as equation number 1. Generally, what we are doing? Actual multiplication. Comparing both sides, x square, x coefficient, x, square, x square coefficient and constant terms we are doing. But here what I am doing is, to get a, b, c values, the linear factors put x minus 1 is equal to 0 means x is equal to 1 in the above equation. In the equation 1. Why x is equal to 1 only? 
ये to get the value of a denominator is x minus one that equal to zero we are putting so x is equal to one substitute in the equation one so x is equal to one if you substitute three into one minus one is equal to x is equal to one substitute except these two anyway zero x equal to one means one minus one zero anything is zero here also one minus one zero zero anything is zero so a into 1 minus 2 into 1 minus 3. 3 minus 1 is 2 equal to 1 minus 3 is minus 1. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Minus 2 into minus 1. Otherwise better to write. So that implies 2 equal to 2a. That implies a is equal to 1. Similarly, put x is equal to to get the b value. x is equal to 2. In the equation 1, we get x is equal to 2 means 3 into 2, 6. 6 minus 1 equal to, except in this remaining value is goes to be 0. x is equal to 2 to substitute here, 2 minus 2, 0. x is equal to 2 substitute here, 2 minus 2, 0. So, these two terms goes to be 0, except this one. So, b into 2 minus 1, 2 minus 3, 6 minus 1 is 5. 2 minus 1 is 1, b into 1 into minus 1. That implies that minus b equal to 5. That implies b equal to minus 5. To get c value, c is x is equal to 3. Put x is equal to 3 in equation 1. So x is equal to 3, substitute 3. 3 is a 9. 9 minus 1 is equal to x is equal to 3 substitute in this first term 3 minus 3 0 0 into this is 0 here also 0 so except this one so c into 3 minus 1 3 minus 2 9 minus 1 is 8 3 minus 1 is 2 c into 2 into 1 so 8 is equal to 2c that implies c is equal to 4 so after adding the values of abc substitute in this so, 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to a value. In place of a substitute, 1. 1 by x minus 1. b value, minus 5. Minus 5 by x minus 2. Plus c value is 4. 4 by x minus 3. So, after writing in terms of partial fractions, taking integration on both sides, taking integration on both sides or integrals on both sides with respect to x anyway, integral 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 into dx is equal to each and every term we have to integrate. Integral 1 by x minus 1 into dx. Minus 5 integral 1 by x minus 2 into dx plus 4 into integral 1 by x minus 3 into dx which is equal to integral 1 by x log mod x minus 5 into integral 1 by x minus 2 log mod x minus 2 plus 4 into integral 1 by x minus 1 log mod x minus 3 after that plus c or log c also we can take. This is the way we can do dear students. Question number 4, you have to practice. The practice question. Practice question here. What is the practice question is? Integral x by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 into dx. Similar procedure you have to follow. Otherwise, like question number 1 and question number 2. Whatever the procedure we followed, in that way you can do that dear students. Otherwise you can write to my comment box, I will help you. We will move on to the next question. The next question here. Integral 2x by x square plus 3x plus 2dx. First is x square plus 3x plus 2, whether it is factorized or not, we can check that. 3x can be written as 2x plus x. So, x square plus 2x plus x plus 2, from these two x take common, x into x plus 2 
प्लस वन इंटू एक्स प्लस टू सो एक्स प्लस टू इंटू एक्स प्लस वन सो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस टू कैन बी रिटर्न एस द फैक्टर्स ऑफ़ द क्वाड्रेटिक एक्सप्रेशन इज़ वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस टू एक्स बाय एक्स प्लस वन इंटू एक्स प्लस टू so clearly it is proper fraction so by using partial fractions by using partial fractions so 2x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 can be written as capital a by x plus 1 plus capital b by x plus 2 So 2x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to. So by using partial fraction means we'll apply like the question number three. What we did both are linear factors now. So first take LCM. 2x by x plus 1 into x plus 2. Is equal to x plus one into x plus two is the LCM. How many times is going to divide x plus one? X plus one get cancelled. X plus two is the remaining. So x plus two into a, a into x plus two, plus x plus two x plus two get cancelled. Remaining is b into x plus one. So both the denominators is going to get cancelled, and two x can be written as capital a into x plus two, plus capital b into x plus one. You put as equation number one. After getting that equation number one, comparing like first question, second question, how we did discuss. Other than this, what we are doing is put x is equal to minus one in equation one. Why? Because to get the value of x plus one equal to zero, linear factor x plus one equal to zero means x equal to minus one. Substitute in equation one. X is equal to one. If you substitute two into minus one is minus two, is equal to x is equal to minus one. Substitute here. A into minus one plus two. Plus b into zero. So anyway, this value goes to be zero. Two minus one is one. One into a is a. So a is equal to minus two. Similarly, put x is equal to. Put x is equal to minus two in equation one. X is equal to minus one. The minus two substituting. Two into minus two minus four is equal to x is equal to minus two means so a into zero. Plus b into minus two plus one. So minus four equal to minus two plus one is minus one into b minus b. So that implies that b is equal to four. So after getting a and b values, substitute in this. Therefore, two x by x plus one into x plus two is equal to a value. Minus two by x plus one and b value is four. Four by x plus two. So taking integration on both sides. Taking integration on both sides. So integral two x divided by x plus one into x plus two dx is equal to So minus two constant we can take outside. Minus two into integral one by x plus one into dx plus four constant we can take outside integral one by x plus two into dx. Now normal integration. Minus two into integral one by x is log mod x. So log mod x plus one plus four into integral one by x plus two log mod x plus two. After that plus c or log c you can write. Simply, I'll see also can it. So here, uh, first positive term we write it. Four log x plus two minus two log x plus one plus c in place of log c instead of the c is enough. Still, if you want to write log x plus two whole power four. Minus log x plus one whole square plus c log a minus log b log a by b so log mod x plus two whole power four by 
x plus 1 whole square plus c. This is the way you can do dear students. We will move on to the next question. Here you can put either c or log c also. Otherwise till here also correct answer no need to simplify in that way. You can leave it like this. Why? Because they are asking to integral of this function. Next question dear students, question number 6, integral 1 minus x square by x into 1 minus 2x, see here 1 minus x square divided by x into 1 minus 2x, this can be written as 1 minus x square by x minus 2x square, which is, this fraction is absolutely pro improper fraction, why because, the numerator degree is 2, denominator is degree is also 2. So, whenever the given fraction is improper fraction, in improper fraction also two cases are there, numerator degree should be equal to denominator degree, one case, and numerator degree is greater than denominator degree. So, whenever equal degrees are there, while writing partial fractions, Numerator highest power of x, that means x square is the highest power of x in the numerator, whose coefficient you have to write in the numerator minus 1 divided by, in the denominator, highest power of x is x square only, no? so whose coefficient also we can write it, so minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by minus 2, after that, regular partial fractions you can write it, so, x is one factor, 1 minus 2x is another factor, so we can express as, a by x plus b by 1 minus 2x. I hope everyone understands. Once again, I will repeat. Whenever the given fraction is improper and having the equal degrees, so this can be expressed as highest power of x, that means so, x square degree coefficient in the numerator divided by x square coefficient in the denominator. That you can write as a first term. Plus, after that, as usual, partial fractions, you can write it. Here, x and 1 minus 2x, which are linear factors, we can write as a by x plus b by 1 minus 2x. After that, as usual procedure. So, 1 minus x square by For this, you have to consider this value separately. So, minus 1 by 2 a and b value I want. So, 1 minus x square by x into 1 minus 2x is equal to 1 by 2 minus minus get cancelled. Plus a by x plus b by 1 minus 2x take LCM 1 minus x square by x into 1 minus 2x LCM is 2 into x into 1 minus 2x. So, 2 to get cancelled, 1 into x minus, so x into 1 minus 2x plus xx get cancelled, a into 2 into 1 minus 2x plus 1 minus 2x get cancelled, b into 2x. After that, what we have to do is x minus 1 by 2x, x minus 1 by 2x get cancelled. Here 2 is there, no? 1 minus x square is equal to x into 1 minus 2x divided by 2 for each and every term. Plus, here 2 to get cancelled, a into 1 minus 2x plus 2 to get cancelled, bx. After completing of this step, what we are going to do is, anyway, Linear factors both are x and you put that equation number 1. Put x is equal to 0 in equation 1. So, z 1 minus 0 is equal to this value goes to be 0. Plus x is equal to 0 means this value goes to be 0. Here a into 1 minus 0. So, a. So ultimately the value of a is a is equal to 1. So a value we got it. Now 
x is equal to 1 minus 3x equal to 0. So in x is equal to 1 by 2. Put x is equal to 1 by 2. In equation 1, x is equal to 1 by 2 if you substitute 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square. So 1 by 4. 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2. 1 minus 2x. This value goes to be 0. Plus a also 0. This term also 0. So b into 1 by 2. So 1 minus 1 by 4 is what? 3 by 4 is equal to 0, 0. B into 1 by 2. That is b by 2. So 2 1s are 2 2s are. That implies b is equal to 3 by 2. So a value we got it. B value we got it. Substitute in this. Therefore, 1 minus x square by x into 1 minus 2x is equal to 1 by 2 plus a value 1 by x b value 3 by 2 by 1 minus 2x taking integration on both sides so integral 1 minus x square by x into 1 minus 2x is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into dx here integral 1 by x into dx here 3 by 2 constant integral 1 by 1 minus 2x into dx 1 by 2 constant integral dx integral 1 by x dx plus 3 by 2 into integral 1 minus 1 minus 2x is equal to t differentiate respect to x so, 1 derivative 0 minus 2 into dx is equal to dt. Directly I am writing 1. So, dx is equal to minus dt by 2. So, 1 by t into in place of dx minus dt by 2. So, 1 by 1 simplify. 1 by 2. Integral dx is x plus integral 1 by x is log mod x. Minus into plus is minus 3 by 2 into 2. 3 by 4. Integral 1 by t into dt. That is equal to x by 2 plus log mod x minus 3 by 4 into integral 1 by t log mod t plus c. In place of t what we assume that 1 by 2x 1 minus 2x. So x by 2 plus log mod x minus 3 by 4 into log mod 1 minus 2x plus c. I hope you have understood your students. This is the way you can whenever it is improper fraction. So we can express like this. Yeah, the next question. Integral x by x square plus 1 into x minus 1. In this question, the function is proper fraction. x by x square plus 1 into x minus 1 x square into x is x cube here numerator x is x power is 1 so here degree is 1 here degree is 3 1 is less than 3 numerator degree is less than denominator degree so it is proper fraction so and observe carefully in the denominator we have x square plus 1 is quadratic factor which is irreducible we cannot reduce into the fractions here factors x minus 1 is linear factor. So, x square plus 1 is there, no? So, how to resolve into the partial fractions the given function? By using partial fractions, by using partial fractions, for irreducible quadratic factor you can write as capital AX plus B divided by quadratic factor irreducible and for the linear factor as it is here already A comma B we used now so C you can take C by X minus 1 I hope you understand that so as usual procedure X by X square plus 1 into X minus 1 is equal to x square plus 1 into 
एक्स माइनस वन सो एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन गेट कैंसिल ये एक्स प्लस बी इनटू एक्स माइनस वन प्लस सी इनटू एक्स माइनस वन एक्स माइनस वन कैंसिल एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन सो बोथ द डिनोमिनेटर वे आर गोइंग टू कैंसिल एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द टर्म्स एक्स इक्वल टू एक्चुअल मल्टीप्लिकेशन ए एक्स प्लस बी इनटू एक्स माइनस वन प्लस सी इनटू एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन हियर डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चंस Directly we have taken as equation one and substituting that x is equal to one and x is equal to. Whenever both are linear factors, you can proceed that way. Otherwise, go for question number one, question number two. How we solve that type of problems? We can proceed. Here also I am proceeding the same way. Actual multiplication a x into x is a x square. A x into minus one minus a x b into x plus b x. b into minus one minus b plus c into x square c x square plus c into one c. So x is equal to from these two x square take common a plus c. From these two x take common minus a plus b. From these two constants minus b plus c. Comparing like terms on both sides. Comparing like coefficients on both sides. Like coefficients on both sides. Here I am putting that arrow mark. X square coefficients arrow mark. X square arrow mark means we are comparing both sides x square coefficients. Here x square coefficient is there or not? In LHS it is not there. Zero is equal to a plus c. Put that equation number one. X coefficients on both sides. Here x coefficient is one equal to minus a plus b. Equation number two. Comparing constant terms on both sides. Constant terms. Here constant term is not there. Zero equal to b plus c minus b plus c. Equation number three. Now solving one and two. Here what I am doing. Solving one and two. See here, plus a minus is there, na? A plus c is equal to zero. Minus a plus b is equal to one. Adding these two, so b plus c is equal to one. So here, minus b plus c is equal to zero. Again, solving these two equation, b plus c is equal to one. Here, directly I am writing minus b plus c is equal to zero. Adding these two, so two c is equal to one. C is equal to one by two. C is equal to one by two. C is equal to one by two. Substitute in three. So zero is equal to minus b plus one by two. Minus b will get the same. B is equal to one by two. So b is equal to one by two. Substitute in this. A value will come two. Substitute in which equation is two. So we get. One equal to minus a plus one by two. So minus a we can take this side. Otherwise one by two we can take this side. One minus one by two is equal to minus a. So one minus one by two is plus one by two only. But here minus is there now. A is equal to minus one by two. So a, b, and c values we got it. Substitute in this. Therefore, x by x square plus one into x minus one. A x a value minus one by two into x plus b b value is one by two by x square plus one next plus c c value is one by two by x minus one taking integration on both sides so after that what we have to do integral x by x square plus one into x minus one into dx Here one by two, one by two take out common. One by two take out common. Even minus also. Split into terms one by one. So minus one by two x by x square plus one into dx. One by two, 
1 by x square plus 1 into dx plus 1 by 2 integral 1 by x minus 1 into dx. x square plus 1 derivative is 2x but 2x is not there. So multiplying and dividing by 2 to get f dash of x by f of x form. So 1 by 2 this is a tan inverse x d by d integral of 1 by x square plus 1 1 by a into tan inverse x by a value is 1 so tan inverse x plus 1 by 2 log mod x minus 1 here also we will finish it minus 1 by 4 integral f dash of x by f of x into dx plus half into tan inverse x plus half into log mod x minus 1 plus c Integral f dash of x by f of x. We have formula. Integral f dash of x by f of x dx is equal to log mod f of x. So minus 1 by 4 log mod f of x plus 1 by 2 tan inverse of x plus 1 by 2 log of x minus 1 plus c. In place of f of x what we have to take? x square plus 1 is f of x. Here f of x is equal to x square plus 1. f dash of x is equal to 2x. So 2x generally it is not there yet. But we are multiplying and dividing by 2 to get this form. After that we apply this formula, we get this answer. So, minus 1 by 4 log mod x square plus 1 plus 1 by 2 tan inverse x plus 1 by 2 log mod x minus 1 plus c. I hope you people will be understand that. Better to write positive terms first after the negative terms. That you have to do. And one more thing uh, yeah, students. Uh, question number 13 in that exercise 7.5. Integral 2 by 1 minus x plus 1 plus x squared. Same procedure you can follow. But here linear factor is first no? a by 1 minus x plus bx plus c by 1 plus x square. Otherwise, ax plus b by 1 plus x square plus c by 1 minus x. Even this procedure also, you can follow for the question number 13 for similar type. Of, you have to practice. If doubts are there, you can write to my comment box. I will help you. We will move on to the next question. Yeah, question number 9. 3x plus 5 by x cube minus x square minus x plus 1 into dx. First, how to do that? It is anyway proper fraction. 3x minus, sorry, 3x plus 5 by x cube minus x square minus x plus 1. It is proper fraction, clearly proper fraction. So, whenever it is proper fraction, so from these two, I am taking x square common. So 3x plus 5 divided by x square take common x minus 1. Minus 1 take common x minus 1 into. Again x minus 1 take common. 3x plus 5 can be written as x minus 1 into x square minus 1. Here minus 1 we are taking common only directly. So that can x square minus 1 means what? x minus 1 into x plus 1. So 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 into x minus 1 into x plus 1. So in these three factors, x minus 1 is a repeating factor. So we can write it as 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 1 which I already discussed in the beginning of the class session whenever repeated factor and linear factor is there x minus 1 whole square repeated factor is x minus 1 so first what we have to write is a by x minus 1 whenever it is repeating twice b by x minus 1 whole square after that third linear factor c by x plus 1 I hope everyone understand here this is the way we can write that after that, general procedure. So, 3x plus 5 divided by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 1. So, LCM is x minus 1 whole square into x plus 1. 
x minus 1, x minus 1 get cancelled. a into x minus 1 into x plus 1 plus x minus 1 whole square will be cancelled. So b into x plus 1 plus x plus 1 cancelled. c into x minus 1 whole square. So both the denominators is going to get cancelled. So 3x plus 5 is equal to a into x square minus 1 a plus b into a minus b plus b into x plus 1 plus c into x square minus 3x plus 1. In the next step what I am going to do is x square coefficients I am taking common here a here c a plus c. In the next step x coefficients I am taking common here not there here is there b here minus 2c. So plus constant terms minus 1 into a minus a 1 into b plus b plus 1 into c plus c 3x plus 5 comparing like coefficients on both sides like coefficients on both sides so first x square coefficients I am comparing x square coefficient is what here 0 here x square coefficient is a plus c Next, x coefficients I am comparing. Here, x coefficient is 3. Here, x coefficient is b minus 2c. Next, comparing constant terms. Here, constant term is 5 equal to minus a plus b plus c. Simultaneously, we can solve these equations and get the answer. See here, I am going to do that. Solving these two equations, a plus c equal to 0, minus a plus b plus c equal to 0. So here I am adding both the equations, plus a minus a get cancelled, b, c plus c, 2c is equal to 0. So b minus 2c is there, b plus 2c, b minus 2c is equal to 3. So adding these two equations, 2b equal to 3, that implies b is equal to 3 by 2. So, b is equal to 3 by 2. Take that different values. b is equal to 3 by 2. So, b equal to, here only I will write it. b is equal to 3 by 2. Substitute in b minus 2c is equal to 3. b minus 2c is equal to 3. So, 3 by 2 minus 2c is equal to 3. That implies that 3 by 2 minus 3 is equal to 2c. 3 by 2 minus 3 is minus 3 by 2 equal to 2c. So that implies minus 3 by 4 is equal to c. So c value will be ordered as minus 3 by 4. So minus 3 by 4. C value we got it, b value we got it. So c value is substituted in equation 1. Equation 1 means c is equal to minus 3 by 4. Substitute in a plus c is equal to 0. So, so sorry, one here, minus a plus b plus c is equal to 5 is there. I am very sorry. So, automatically these values will be also changed. Very sorry. So, based on that, automatically these values will be changed. So, please. So, 5 adding these two, b plus 2c is equal to 5. So, here b minus 2c is equal to 3. So adding these equations, this will be cancelled. 2b is equal to 8. b is equal to 4. So b value equal to 4. See how change it. b is equal to 4, substitute. b is equal to 4, substitute in. 3 is equal to b minus 2c. So 3 equal to 4 minus 2c. 4 get in this side. 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 2c. Minus 1 is equal to minus 2c. That implies c is equal to 1 by 2. After that, a plus c is equal to a plus c is equal to 0. a is equal to minus c. So a is equal to minus 1 by 2. So a value we got it, c value we got it, b value also we got it. Substitute in this. Therefore, 
3x plus 5 divided by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 1 equal to a, a value minus 1 by 2 divided by x minus 1 b value 4 4 by x minus 1 whole square c value c by c c value is what 1 by 2 x plus 1 so taking integration on both sides so integral 3x plus 5 by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 1 into dx is equal to minus 1 by 2 integral 1 by x minus 1 into dx plus 4 into integral 1 by x minus 1 whole square into dx plus 1 by 2 into integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx integral 1 by x log mod x minus 1 by 2 log mod x minus 1 integral 1 by x squared minus 1 by x so minus 4 by x minus 1 plus 1 by 2 integral 1 by x so log mod x plus 1 plus c so from these two 1 by 2 I am taking common log a minus log b log x plus 1 by x minus 1 log a minus log b minus 4 by x minus 1 plus c so from these two 1 by 2 I am taking common log a minus log b log a by b I wrote I hope you people understand this also can be written as Integral 3x plus 5 by the given function x cube minus x squared minus x plus 1 into dx. Thank you, dear students. We'll move on to the next question. See, in the question number 8, you have to practice x integral x by x minus 1 whole square by into x plus 2. So, first, x minus 1 whole square is the repeated factor and it is improper fraction. a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 whole square plus c by x plus 2 then similar procedure we have to follow while solving be careful dear student just now we got some mistake log little mistake we have to rectify the mistakes while solving the equations very careful dear students we will move on to the next question thank you dear students i thought to explain more questions but uh, I decided uh, why because uh, it is lengthy video, it is already one hour video. It have taken uh, one hour, more than one hour video it is there. Only 9 to 10 questions only we explained. The rest of the questions I will give in that next video. Thank you all, dear students. Signing off, Maths with Panindra Jai Hind.